In this video, I will show you how to type on a line in Google Docs. So as you can see right here, here are some line right here which I have to type into. So for you to type into this line, what you have to do, I'll show you two different methods on how to do this. Firstly, you can firstly delete the line. As you can see, just delete the line. Then you do your typing as it as you can see they ask for the name. I'll just enter my name. My so when you are done entering the name, you can just highlight it. Then you underline. So when done underlining it, you can then use your shift and underscore. As you can see, shift and underscore on your keyboard. The underscore is after zero in your keyboard. Then you tap on it. Tap press down the shift. Then you tap on the underscore. So as you can see, I've just added a line to hit. So the second method is by using the text box. So to do this, firstly just go to anywhere on your document. Then you click on insert. Then you click on drawing. Then you click on new. So you give it time for it to load. When it has done loading, come right here to where you have this text, click on it, then you draw the text box. So when done, you can then enter the text into the text box. Let me see um, sub the subject, which will be uh, math. Let's just add math mathematics. And economics. So when done with this, the next thing for you to do is also you can increase the size or decrease it if you want. As you can see, just highlight it if you want to increase the size. Then you come to this more right here. As you can see, you can increase it to any one of the choice, and you can decrease it depending on how you want it. You can bold on the again, you can bold italic. As you can see, there are other features. So when done, just click on save and close. So you give it time for it to load. So right now, as you can see, here is just what we just finished typing. So you click on it, then you click on in front of text. So when done, you can then move it to anywhere of your choice. So here is the subject right here, which is the one below. Just click on it, then you move it below it. So you can set it well, depending on how you want it, as you can see. I've just added a new test on a line. So that was how to do this. Hope this video helped. Please leave it a thumb up and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you in the next video.